The State House of Representatives met for a special session today to consider a new wide-ranging piece of legislation. News 8 political contributor Mike Cerulli joins us live at the state capitol to break down the bill. Mike. Hi, good evening to you, Catherine. The State House passing that omnibus bill here just a couple hours ago. The bill contains measures affecting everything from the state car tax to a possible sale of Aquarian Water Company. The debate over a change to Connecticut's car tax that began Wednesday in the state Senate carried over into the state House on Thursday. The changes are intended to streamline assessments and make tax bills more predictable. We're looking at a major structural reform to how car, cars are assessed in tax in the state of Connecticut. There will be a one-year period in which that adjustment takes place. Um, and then I think it'll even out and give some stability to the taxpayer. While Republicans in the Senate characterized the changes as a tax hike, their colleagues in the House were less certain. The bill is a change to the car tax. We don't know what that impact fully will be, but what we do know it's moving food around the plate and not addressing the real concerns. Also in the bill, a measure that would allow the Regional Water Authority to enter a bid on Aquarian Water Company. House leadership of both parties said they see the wisdom in opening the door for the purchase. There are some people who think that a quasi-public utility is better because they don't have shareholders to report to, helping to drive rates down, better local accountability. Uh, that is what the RWA offers to its communities. It provides the local control as opposed to some bureaucracy in Hartford dictating how they manage their water companies. Those who opposed the special session bill in both chambers cited what they view as a rushed and ill-advised process to allow the RWA to make an offer for Aquarian. One item not on the special session agenda, a fix to close a loophole in state law that led to the family of fallen state trooper Aaron Pelletier being denied the trooper's pension. House Democratic leadership said the agenda for this week's special session couldn't be changed in time. But one state representative, who was also a police detective, wasn't buying it. And we don't consider it an emergency to make a legislative change to make sure that she and, and those children can get the pension that he paid into, I think is absolutely horrible. And Catherine, the House Democratic Speaker Matt Ritter told me today that he's committed to addressing to that fallen officer pension loophole and he'd be willing to come back for a future special session to fix it. The special session bill passed today, now heads to the governor. He's expected to sign it. Reporting live at the state capitol, Mike Cerulli, News 8.